Okay, perfect. All right, we are on record. So we are meeting today. It is October 15th, 2020. Um, we're kind of just kind of wrapping up still the beginning process of, of this club. Um, this is, today would be the end of our beginning process. We're going to start something new. So I thought like, I made an agenda one week and I put it on a Google Doc and then I thought maybe it's best that I just keep everything on a Google slideshow. That way we can always go back to our agendas as needed. So this was the agenda that we went through um, September 24th. So I thought that this would be kind of cool just to keep us a little bit organized. I don't have what we talked about at the last meeting and I'll, I'll try to add that um, here into the agenda. So what I have for today is we're gonna talk about membership, the virtual field trip, membership dues, fundraiser, officer voting, and guest speakers. So I don't wanna take up too much of your time. We'll probably be on here for the max 20 minutes. I do have to dip out because Felix has his eighth grade cross country conference meet today. So that's, that's kind of a big deal. So I gotta run home and get into some warm clothes before I head over to Woodland Park. Um, okay, so membership. So we have people who have filled out the Google form. We are up to 26 people who have stated, yes, I wanna be a member of Business Professionals of America. And on that form, people elected if they were running for officers or not. So um, I'm still keeping the Google form out there. I've put it, I've, what I do is I message in the Canvas inbox option. I can actually message like all freshmen, all sophomores, juniors, seniors. So I apologize in advance if you get um, a lot of information from me, but that's just the easiest way for me to disseminate information. I know that I can put it over the PA, but I realize that when I put things over the PA, really the only people that are benefiting from that are in-person learners. So I always like to use that Canvas inbox to be able to message. Also, um, Mrs. Lounges covers putting things out on announcements as well. So because some people look at announcements and some people look at Canvas inbox, some people only listen to the PA. It seems like if you're one of those organized people and you listen to all of it, a lot of information seems so repetitive, but believe it or not, we'll still have a student that'll still message us and go, hey, what about this announcement or this club? And we're, and us as leaders, we're like, wow, we put that in like three different areas for you to find. And we'll still have people tell us we couldn't find the information. So. I always say I apologize in advance if it seems a little bit like information dumping on you, but we just have students in so many unique situations right now. We wanna make sure, at least for me, um, and I think other leaders in the building feel that way, you just wanna make sure that everyone is getting the information. You know, those who opted to do e-learning, they should be getting the same exact information that are in person. There should be no difference. The only difference is their computers at home versus being in school. So. Um, with that said, I do have a virtual field trip coming up. Um, why do I present this to the Business Professionals of America? It is a field trip that I sponsor. I think it's a good benefit for the Business Professionals of America members, um, simply because as I've been saying this whole school year, everything is a business. Putting together a virtual field trip, that's a business. And I thought that it would be a good little insight for you guys as members to get an idea of what something virtual looks like, what a presentation looks like virtually. I know that you just see us in school and you see your teachers, but this virtual field trip is gonna give you an opportunity to see different college representatives in the state of Indiana, as well as other business leaders. In addition to that, to listen to a motivational and inspirational leader. So the virtual field trip, I, I thought I was gonna, oh, I have a Google form for it. Let me just open up a new tab to show you what that Google form looks like. Um, I just put it out yesterday, so it's very fresh. It's very brand new. I started presenting it to, to some of my business students. Actually, just today was the first time. So let me put this in preview. So it's November 5th, it's 7.30 to 11.30. Ooh, I put 11.30 p.m. I need to, I need to edit that, yikes. Hold on, sorry. As I'm like doing this, I'm realizing I don't want anyone to think, no wonder somebody asked me how they were gonna get home. It all makes sense now. <laughs> okay, putting this back into preview. 
So um, it's the ninth annual Indiana Latino Education Summit and College Career Fair. Um, it is going to be hosted in the high school auditorium here. It's a virtual event. Last year, I took about 60 students to this event, and it was a huge success. We went to South Bend. Um, obviously, because of COVID, we can't do that. But they decided we're going to do this virtually, and I'm actually part of the planning committee on this. Um, it is open to all students. So I know that it says Indiana Latino Education Summit. They are who, they are the organization that's planning it. So I've already gotten two messages that have asked me, one, I'm not Latino, can I still go? The answer is yes, it's open to all students. Number two question was, is it going to be in English or Spanish? It will be in English, um, but you'll hear someone maybe say something in Spanish, like a word or two, like some Spanglish, perhaps, but for those of you who attended last year, you know that it's 100% in English. Um, but you get to hear from an inspirational speaker, explore universities, businesses at the college fair. And um, I think what I thought was really cool was they're gonna talk about navigating COVID-19 effects on education. So I created this little Google form that people can go into, I created, I put the link there of what the Indiana Latino Institute is about if you're interested in that. So students, obviously it's open to all grades and then um, I think what's important for you to know is you would be missing first, third, and most some of fifth period on Thursday, November 5th. So if that's something that you're able to do, like your attendance is good and you're, you keep up with your assignments, then I would definitely recommend for you guys to be there. Like I said, I think it would be a good event. Um, what I'm going to do is for whoever is a member of Business Professionals of America and attends this event, we're going to count that as torch. Um, and I'll go into that a little bit more, but torch the community service it's important that we get as many torch points as we can, and we don't have a lot of opportunities, and this would be a good opportunity for members. So it's in your Canvas inbox. It is in the announcements page. Um, it's on the announcements tab of your grade level Canvas page, so you can find it there. There's a lot of different areas. If you don't find it, I'm happy to send it to you. You can let me know. Okay, back to my little PowerPoint here. So I talked about the virtual field trip. So dues are um, dues are twenty five dollars. I do need you to submit that if you haven't already. A lot of you already have, um, but I do also want to know because I put the word fundraiser on there. If the twenty five dollars is not something you can pay out of pocket cash, no big deal. I can give you some coupon books that you can sell. You would only have to sell three books. You'd get ten dollars. You'd make a fifty percent profit. They sell for twenty. You'd get ten back. So 10, 20, 30, um, you'll be able to be able to cover your membership dues. The coupon books are super cool. Um, it's everything here in Northwest Indiana, very usable, very popular in the area. So uh, do message me, see me if you um, need that message. If you're an e-learner and you want some of these books to sell, message me. I'll leave them in the main office for you to pick up at any day. Um, so that was the fundraiser that we have going on. So officer voting, let's go back to the membership and officer voting. What I'm going to do is everyone who has said, I would like to have an officer position, I'm going to ask that you submit a 20 to 30 second video as to why we should vote for you to be president, vice president, secretary, historian, or treasurer. Um, you can use Canvas Inbox. There's a video option there if you've never noticed, and there's actually a voice submission as well. So if you can't do a video, like that's not your thing, you can plug in your headphones into your Canvas. I mean, you can plug in your headphones into your Chromebook and then record yourself doing that as well. Let me actually show you what that looks like, just since I'm recording in case someone's not. So I'm just going to open up Canvas Inbox. I'm going to open up a new message so that you can see what that looks like. So I'm in Canvas. I'm in Inbox. So obviously up here, compose a new message. So for you guys, it looks different. Um, depending on what grade you're in, you can find your teacher that way, right? So anyways, pretending that you're sending that to me, there I am. I would come up on any grade and I would put officer video in the subject i'd probably put my put my name as well v torres so that they know it's coming from so you see down here these two little options see this add an attachment or record an audio you can literally click this right here 
use your microphone, use your camera, say allow. And look at how cool that is. So I could literally click here. I could, let's do another. Hi, my name is Valentine Torres. I'm a senior at Hobart High School. I am so excited to be a part of Business Professionals of America. I would like for you to choose me to be your president because I'm a leader. I love to lead. And I promise you that we will together be the best team that Business Professionals of America for Hobart High School has ever seen. Vote for me. And there you go, right? It's 19 seconds. I can literally put that right into the video. I can just put here, um, vote for VT, I can click save, da, 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 da. and there it is. I bet you guys didn't know that you can do that. Um, so that option is there, and you can send it that way. If you record the video on your own, like on your phone, or maybe you pre-recorded it using your, your Chromebook and you saved the video, then you would click that attachment and you would put it into here as well. Um, you would just, how, wherever you saved it. So um, people who work with me know I'm a big fan of technology, so I'm always trying to find cool things for people to see. Um, here as well, when you click that, so you've got record media, you can actually, let me see if I click web pan, cam, I can actually say no video. And then, three, two, one. Hi, my name is Valentine Torres. I would like to run for president of Business Professionals of America. I'm a senior. I have been in many clubs before. I love to lead. I want your partnership. I want to make sure that we're the best club here that Hobart High School has ever seen. I'm excited to work with you. I can say finish. And voila, I can put that. It'll play it back so I can then say, you know, voice clip. I could say via Torres. I could say save. And dun, 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 there is my media content. And then I can send it to whoever I need to send it to. So here, voice member. And then I can hit save. And then when I get it and open it up, that's how it all works. So that's kind of cool. That's how you guys can do that. So I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Um, so if you can get those to me, it would be best if I would actually need them before next, next Thursday, next Thursday, that's actually October 22nd. I would, no, I would need it actually Wednesday, October 21st. And the reason being is because I want to play them for our Thursday meeting. So Thursday, all members, I'm going to really ask everyone to join the Zoom um, for that moment just to see all the videos and if they don't we're going to record it and send those in and then I will have a Google form You'll go on and say this is who I want for president vice president historian treasurer so on and so forth So what I want to show you really quick and I'm going to provide you guys with this link This is another chapter of business professionals of America Their own students made their own website for business professionals of America using Google sites so this is something that I'm going to delegate out to our officers. So what they put here, you can see the homepage. So it talks about what Business Professionals of America is and whoever our officers are, I'm gonna tell you, copy paste. Whatever you see there, if it's still pertinent to us, we're just going to not, we're not gonna reinvent the wheel if it's, if it's already working. So it actually goes through here what officer duties are so this is kind of cool. It talks about who the president is, what their role is, what the vice president's role is, what the treasurer's role is, the secretary, and the historian. What's not on here, um, because for, for me, vice president is in charge of memberships. And then the treasurer, not that they're in charge of money, but they are in charge of any money-making ideas that are going so my treasurer i would be looking for someone who's very strong in the fundraising side i would obviously manage the money but i would need the treasurer to manage almost like the spreadsheet and the accounting of it the secretary is someone who is just a dynamic note taker like you get it you know how to take notes 
Um, I would also need someone who's reliable attendance wise. Like I, I'll be at the meetings because I would need a, a secretary. You know, whenever you're holding these kind of clubs, officers always have to be at all meetings. But secretaries, like people feel lost if the secretary's not there upkeeping all of the minutes and then providing all of that back to us. The historian in our club is also going to be the social media consultant. So they would be in charge of running the Instagram page and creating a Twitter account. What I'd like to add in addition with the historian is I would like for us to have a chapter page on a LinkedIn account so that we could connect with other business professionals of America across the United States. That's what it's all about. This business is about networking and it's about building your circle as large as you can. So obviously it talks about here too, the historian to gather and classify chapter news, prepare news notes, articles for publications or broadcasts. Right now I have like the radio and TV broadcasting. I have the yearbook group. They're always asking me to do interviews to answer questions. This would be something that I would probably have the historian and the president doing since the historian is charge of social media. Um, so if you're into public relations and social media and really kind of putting yourself out there, uh, that's gonna be a great position for you. So every single position is super important. But this little site here I thought was so unique for people to have. I'm actually gonna go into the Zoom chat room really quick. I'm gonna provide you with this link. But again, I will put it in Remind as well. Okay, let me visit this Zoom chat room. Oops, I didn't mean to just send that. I meant to send that to everyone, my bad. Okay. All right, so, hi, Ms. Tor, is it okay if I come back to school and pay my membership fee tomorrow? Yes. And Lewis said it was super fun last year. I think Lewis is talking about the field trip. Last year, it was super fun. We had a really, really good time. It was definitely more than, it was more fun than we expected. Um, if someone needs to sell a coupon book, I'll buy one. Thanks, Connor. Coupon books are awesome. Where do we get them from? I have the coupon books, Mia. So I know that you come to the school for certain clubs, so I can always leave yours in the main office or maybe perhaps when you first get here, you can stop at my room and I'll provide them to you. If you're in the building now, I can bring them to you, Mia. Um, just let me know and I'll, I'll walk them over to where you are. I think you're with Ms. Mr. Schultz. When is it due and where do, where do we vote? Okay, so I, need, I would like to have membership dues by next week. Um, I can hold it out until the end of the month if needed. Um, where we're gonna vote is I'm gonna create a Google form and it'll have everyone's name on it, the videos that they've submitted. So that's why it's important to get those videos out. I think I'm gonna need those videos by like Monday, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna need them Monday because I, I need time to take your video and put it on the Google form, send that Google form out. That way people are looking at the name they see your video and they go from that way. Um, talk about, okay, Mia says, can you talk about the coupon books again? I missed that. Yes. So the coupon books, $20. I'm grabbing it right now. Um, it looks like this. They're $20. I think they're fabulous. I think that this is the easiest thing to sell. This is literally selling ice to an Eskimo. You can sell this to anyone. The easiest cute, the first page I always go to is the one with Shoop's Burgers, and that's page seven. I should just have that page memorized. So page seven on here has Shoop's Burgers, buy one, get one free, right? Like I always tell people, Shoop's Burgers cost about $6 now, so six times four is 24. The book costs 20. I always tell them, you're going to get $24 in free hamburgers by spending $20. Some other big sales thing that people like is that Panda Express. I personally do not like Panda Express. I like real Asian food. That's not real enough for me. They have car washes. They have mini golf. They have real golf. They have ice cream shops. They have um, they have everything. Sonic, Shoops is in there. El Salto, if you like Mexican food, is in there. All the goodies. It's 20 bucks. We make a 50% profit, so... Those are so easy to sell. I've been, every club and organization I've sponsored here, I always go back to that. We make more money on that than anything else. Um, Mia's like, I just want one. I know, right? I, now I want a Shoop's Burger too. There's a lot of fast food restaurants on there as well, as Helena said. So um, it, it is, it's, it's a very cool book. I, I like it a lot. Okay, so 
where was I? Okay, so I went over the website, Business Professionals of America. So I thought this was cool. I literally found this Googling it because I kept saying to myself, I'm like, some school had to create a website so that it can make our job easier. I like to make my job easier. I don't call it cheating, I call it being resourceful. They have a competitions tab and that's what we've been talking about because that's where we're preparing for is competitions. So it's got all kinds of cool things here. Now, here's what I want you to know and I think I might've said this before. These competitions, I have very specific details and instructions that are like one to three pages. So if you see something there, it's easy to get done. I will tell you the easiest one that I would, I would, convince everyone to do, like if it's your first time competing, I would convince you to do interview scale, skills. So each member can do one competition, they can do two individual competitions or one individual in one group. But each chapter, because we're Hobart High School chapter, can only have one group. So I want to propose doing a small business management team. I'm going to find out from my state advisor how many people I can have in that group. Um, I think we would need at least five to, for it to be able to be strong. But I think for anyone who is in my business classes, this is what we do. We do small business management group projects. So uh, most of us would be pretty good at something like this. They also have um, a management team. They have marketing, entrepreneurship, graphic design for those that are good within the graphic design. So lots of cool things. Obviously, if you're an IT person, they have cool stuff in the IT world good stuff in the administrative support um, program here. Um, and then of course, financial services. Financial services, a lot of it is just taking tests, but they are open book tests. So that's kind of a nice little insight there. So they talk about torch awards as well. So I said, if you attend the virtual field trip, we can count that as torch awards. So this kind of goes into some, basically like what torch is. So. There's seven categories, leadership, service, cooperation, knowledge, friendship, love, hope, faith, and patriotism. So you can log in and says here, log into activities on your torch resume. Each activity is worth five, 10, 15, 20 points. So I guess there's different activities that we can complete here as well. So we'll work on that so that we can get all of our torch members in. So I thought that was kind of cool. This obviously talks about what regional competition is and that's what we're preparing for regionals is going to be in december when state competition is our state competition is in indianapolis and then it talks about when national competition is obviously in 2019 it was in anaheim california like i don't know about you guys but i would totally love to go to cali um and if we totally knocked it out of the park i I know that um, our superintendent and our school board would love to support us on something like that. It would require a lot of fundraising, um, but it would be something to do. And, you know, if we do it in 2021, cool. If it happens, cool. If not, you know, we got 2022 as well. Okay, so I have that. So the other thing I just want you kind of brainstorming in your head is thinking about guest speakers. So what I'd like to do for our meetings is I'd like to invite a, a nice guest speaker someone who we can talk to just one-on-one, -on -one. it's not in the classroom. Um, so think about professions that you're kind of interested in and I can try to find some professionals in that area. I just found some guest speakers for my business classes. Um, I actually found some business people who work in the military. One is a civilian, meaning he's retired military, came back to work in the military as a recruiter, so he's doing sales. Um, they know a lot about the, how the military markets, um, how the military recruits. So all of that is business, you know, like I always say, like, if you want to know how to hire someone really good, um, sit through an interview of a military guy who's trying to get into a specific position. That's a really good way to, to understand different interviewing skills. So I have that coming to the business classrooms. Um, but I definitely want us as members to think of our own unique little guest members that can come in and join us. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the chat room. Okay. All right, so. Are we still doing um, Small Business Saturday? I haven't heard, I haven't heard yet, but what we are doing is last year, because I think I had Lewis with me, Alex Griggs, Mia was with me, 
Aaron Jackson and Eddie Starzik, we did the Hobart Business Expo. So Dr. Buffington just approved us to do the Hobart Business Expo again. So I'll get a Google form created so that we can do that. So I'm super excited. So we'll actually be able to go to the Avalon, but it's going to be virtual. So they're going to have a radio and TV people there. And our job is to promote School City of Hobart as a business, as a corporation. So we'll be talking about Hobart University. We will be talking about um, dual credits. We will be talking about the thousands of dollars that our students save because they're taking dual credits here, how some students are graduating with certificates, some are graduating with associates degree. I mean, we have students this year, the class of 2021, that are gonna graduate high school with an associates degree and they're gonna walk into a four-year university as a junior. Y'all, that's only two years of college that they have to pay. And if you're going to like IU Bloomington, that's $22,000 a year, 22 times four, you guys do the math, right? 22 times four. Can you imagine if you're only having to pay 22 times two? That's a 50% off discount because students took the right courses here. So, um, so yeah, Mia, we would, the business expos where we're representing School City of Hobart as a corporation. So Dr. Buffington feels like us as business students, as the business department, we would be able to do that. So Owen says you do the Ivy Tech. Yes, because our partnership with Hobart High School and Ivy Tech Community College is what creates Hobart University, which allows for students to get a lot of college classes out of the way while they're still in high school. And you can go around and meet with other businesses. Yeah, that's what we liked. We liked that everyone could walk around and meet with other people. That was really, really cool. So, all right. So Dominique, okay, you were saying like, what's that? So the Hobart Business Expo. So what classes would we have to take to graduate with an associate's degree? That's a great, I, that's a great question. That answer is actually, I thought I had, sorry, I thought I had the booklet. I usually have the booklet sitting on my desk like year round and for whatever reason, the booklet's not on my desk. Sometimes I give it away. But the, um, if you go to hobart.k12.in.us, and you click high school and you click the college and careers you find the career pathway book and that actually shows all the classes that you need to take to either obtain a certificate of 30 college credits or an associate of 60 college credits um, i always suggest to students because i worked as a guidance counselor for five years schedule an appointment with your guidance counselor and just be like how do i get on this associate's degree bandwagon so I can save my parents lots of money. My stepdaughter is a senior this year and she's graduating with a diploma and an associate's degree. And every time I think about it, like as a mom, I want to cry because I can't believe that she completed two years of college and she's going to have a college degree and she's graduating as an, she'll turn 18 literally two weeks before she graduates, like 18 years old. So when she goes into her four-year university, if she does two years and she goes full-time, she'll have a bachelor's degree by the time she's 20 years old. Like, that's crazy. So um, that was all that I had today. It's 328. Um, does anyone have any big questions for me? I think we answered a lot. When will the, Mia says, when will the Zoom end? Cart clubs, we're about to end the Zoom right now, Mia, to answer your question. Okay, we come and get, yes, where are you, Mia? Are you in, you said shelter room, you already told me that. And Dominique, you could turn in your money tomorrow. Coolio. So that's where we're at. We are pretty much just wrapping up. Um, if I don't forget my money tomorrow, I'll give you 25th and 4th. Okay, Connor, that works. So we're kind, we're, we're done. We've wrapped up everything that we understand what the club is generically, right? We understand about the membership. We're about to go into our officer positions, which is really going to um, keep us busy. Um, I want you to know that if, as we get ready for competitions and as officers, we will have more meetings as you guys see needed, okay? Um, so we can meet more days throughout the week after school and Zoom, and I think that'll make life really easy. Um, but anyways, I'm excited that all of you guys came on and joined. We had nine joiners today. That's awesome. Um, all right, so let me quit on the record.